Okay, we're gonna make a workflow that will scrape a website and then return um, its contents as JSON using an LLM. Um, so we'll create a new workflow. We'll call it web page to JSON. All right, so here's the uh, first block. So this is the, like the starting block. Um, so this is input. So this block will take um, in inputs. And right now it has one input, which is a user message. This can be anything, so let's just change this to URL and the display name URL. We can make it, these are the same basically. Um, short text, um, not optional. Default value, we can just say. So if we run it, it'll be, um, yeah, scout loss. Um, so let's just leave it like that. But you can put in something else like. So yeah, let's just keep it there. And then, so we want to scrape that web page. So we'll do um, web page scrape. And then we'll connect those. So that just shows that this is a dependency on this one. Um, and so the input block, you can reference the inputs through, uh, and this is Jinja, so you do like a templating language, so you do inputs.url, so that's going to be docs.scoutos, and then exclude selectors, we don't have to worry about that, um, but this is just going to return, and it's using um, playwright, so it's not like extremely, extremely fast, but it's going to return the raw, um, yeah, basically the raw um, HTML. So we could send that to an LLM, but it's just like way too many tokens. So first we want to just extract the text out of it. Um, so we can do another block. And now we can just do this in JavaScript. So we'll connect that because it needs the output of this block. We can change the name, so let's just call it um, website, uh, website HTML. So we can run this. Um, data dot state. So just to see what it does. So this data, this data. Um, so this function gets called and it gets passed in uh, data, and then that data object has some stuff on it. But we just want the state of the application, right? So the state of the workflow, and so this output gets set on the state. So we can. Um, this HTML ends up getting passed into this main function. So, um, so yeah, we, let's just look at the state. So this is just returning data.state. So this will be the output of this um, JavaScript here. So this is the output, and you can see there's just kind of metadata on the run, and then here's that HTML. So it's res.state. Um, let's see. So res.state.inputs. No, no, website HTML. Data.state.website HTML. And then that's an object. And it's .output.html. So it's the output of that block. And then that block returns an object which has HTML on it. So now if we run that, now it's text, and it's the whole thing. Um, so basically we want to like just extract, the, get rid of all of this. We don't need all of this like random HTML. So we just want the text. So what we can do is um, there's HTML to text on NPM. HTML to text. So this basically makes it so you can um, convert that. Um, it has some functions to just convert that HTML to text. Okay. 
So, um, here, um, so we can import that. So this is D now, so you can import it pretty much in the MPM package. So import, um, uh, HTML to text from, we can do MPM and then the, the package name. So HTML to text. And so that should, it shouldn't do anything, but it shouldn't fail. I hope. All right. So if we go back to this, I'm just going to copy this. Oops. Um, so let's see what they did. So I don't need this. We don't really need options. I'm not sure you can look into that. We already have the HTML, which is this. And so this is the H raw HTML. So that'll go into convert. And then this, um, so it's like this HTML to text. This is a function that takes in HTML, takes in, um, just put empty options there, and then we'll return text. So boom, now we have that. Okay, so now it looks a lot better. We can just pass that to an LLM. So we're done with the JavaScript block. So we can say, Extract text, extracted text. Wait, no, this is not ID extracted. Let's just call it text. Okay. Um, now we can pass that to an LLM. So let's just do. What should we do? We could always do. Let's do Gemini. So. Um, Gemini Pro 002 response type. Okay. Um, temperature. Let's just do zero temperature. Max tokens. I don't know. Three thousand response type. We want JSON, right? And then so let's add some messages. So let's add single message system. Um, you are tasked with converting um, text to um, converting. You're tasked with converting unstructured text to JSON. Return JSON. Um, what do we want from it? I don't know. Um, Let's just see what it does without any, like, schema. Um, so that's a system. And then there's a bunch of different ways you could probably do this, but I'll just do it like this. User, and I'll say here is the text. Just put it in some, like, random backticks. And then this is going to be the output of this block, right? So text dot output. So let's see. Scraping, well, that's going. We can say JSONify. So it's converting it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's coming up with its own schema. Welcome message, links, content. So, what might we want to like extract? Um, page title description, um, main content, and links. Probably won't get links. I guess, yeah, I get some links. Okay, so let's do that. So now we can just say, let's go back to the system message and say, return JSON um, of this schema. Um, so we can just 
You can kind of just use pseudo schema too. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So title string um, just to show that's maybe like a comment. Um, a title for the page. Let's just say a title for the page. Description. So we're saying that's string and we kind of give a description. A short description of the page. We could do tags. That'd be, that'd be interesting. We give it the right tags. Um, it could be like enum values. So title, description, main content. String, the main content of the page. Title, description. I don't know, and let's just say tags. And give it like... Let's make this bigger too. Small. Whoops. What in the world? How do I get rid of this thing? Okay. I do not want that big. Okay. Main content, tags, and then like an array of strings. If you know TypeScript, then this kind of just how you tell it array of strings. Um, let's actually do. I'm gonna mix TypeScript and um, whatever. I'm just gonna make up some stuff. Literal. It's kind of like pedantic. Um, of I don't know. Blog marketing. Um, blog marketing or like commerce or something, let's see. So maybe it'll just like kind of like label it. All right, let's do it. Run it. Oh no. JSONify, what happened? I don't know about Gemini. Let's try GPT-40. I've never even used Gemini. see title scout description main content tags you know so yeah so basically that's it you can play around with it and do a bunch, bunch of other stuff probably too but uh, 